Hello viewers, so welcome back to this course on matrix computation and its application. So this is the last lecture of this course. So in this uh, lecture we are going to uh, solve some examples uh, using the householder transformation to find out the QR factorization or the tridiagonalization of a symmetric matrix with the help of octave. So let us do that. So then in the application of the householder transformation as we have discussed in the uh, previous lecture that and we have defined this as 2 w w transpose by this one. Now we are going to use the application and this first one is the QR factorization. As we have already seen the QR factorization with the Gram Smith process. So in this case also we have the matrix A and multiplying by some this householder transformation and on the right hand side I will get R. So this R is a upper triangular matrix. matrix. So in this case what we get is that and this is H1, H2 all are I know that this is orthogonal matrix. So I can find from here then this can be written as Hn, Hn minus 1, H2, H1 inverse R. So inverse means this is equal to transpose and I can write this as a H1 transpose, H2 transpose and Hn transpose R. And I know that this is symmetric matrix, so it becomes H1, H2, Hn. And this is the orthogonal matrix, so product is also orthogonal, so I get QR. So my A is QR. So this is the QR factorization of the given matrix. So let us do this one in the octave. And now suppose I will take the matrix. So let us uh, uh, take the example of this one. So I will just take example. And let I take the matrix A. So this matrix I am taking here is <coughs> that is 4, 1, minus 2, 2, then 1, 2, 0, 1, minus 2, 0, 3, minus 2. So I am taking the uh, 4 by 4 matrix just to and this is I am taking 2, 1, minus 2, minus 1. And you see also that I have taken A transpose A. So I have taken the symmetric matrix because we are going to use this one. So this is the matrix and first is that solution is that find its QR factorization using householder transformation. So this is what we are going to do. So let us start with the octave. So I have saved one script file with the word octave. So now we know that we start with clear and CLC. And first of all I should write here that householder transformation. So this is what we are going to do. So first of all I will find find my I will write my matrix. So this matrix we are writing here 
is 4 1 minus 2 and 2. So, this is in the first row and then 1 2 0 and 1 this is the second row and then minus 2 0 3 and minus 2 and then I am taking 2 1 minus 2 minus 1. So, this is the matrix we are defined. So, after defining this matrix now I want to start my house holders. So, I can say that using first column. So, I am using the first column. So, now what I what I am going to use it here that now from here first step 1 is that now I will take my first vector. So, this is the vector I am talking about. So, this is I am using 4 1 minus 2 2. So, this one I am going to use and from here I will make this vector transform this vector into some value here and 0 0 0. So, this is what I am going to do with the help of this one. So, now I am going to use the first column. So, let us write this one. So, let us take column 1 I write it C 1. So, in this case I am writing C 1 is A first all the and first column. So, all the rows and the first column. So, this is my C 1. Now, I define my n as the length the length of C 1. So, this is my n I am defining. It. Now, I know that I need to define the norm also. So, in this case what I am going to do I am going to define new C 1 because I am dividing the C 1 by. So, in this case I will divide the C 1 by the norm. So, norm I will take of what C 1 and I want to take the the maximum norm or the infinity norm. So, I write inf. So, this norm I am defined. This one. So, this is my new C 1 I will get. So, once I will get the C new C 1 now I want to define W 1. So, W 1 you know, you know that this is new C 1. So, this is my new C 1 new C 1 plus now I will take the sign first I will take the sign of now you can see that I need the sign of this new C 1 the first component only first component. So, that is what we are going to see the sign of the first component star multiply this one. What I need to do I need to find the norm the length of this. So, I am defining the norm of new C 1. So, this is my new C 1 new C 1. So, that is my new C 1 and I am taking the two norms of this one and then I will multiply by the vector identity vector. So, I will write i. So, this is the command, but I want the vector of length. So, n should be the number of rows and only one column should be there. So, this is the basically we are getting the vector the column vector. So, this is what we are going to find w 1 and now once I find the w 1 I will get the so, you can write from here in this case. So, this is 
you can write here as vector w and now this one I can write finding the householder matrix h 1. Why are we writing this h 1? Because first I am dealing with this one. So, I will find the matrix. So, from using this one I found my w 1 and then I will find my h 1 and then multiply the h 1 with this vector and I will get some value here 0 0 0 and then I will find out h 1 and my a the matrix a and I will get the new matrix that is a 1. So, this is what we are going to do. So, now I am finding my h 1. So, h 1 is equal to. So, I need to find out because you will see that h 1 is going to be 4 by 4 matrix. So, I need to define my identity matrix. So, identity matrix is i of order n because it is n is the number of length. So, it is 4 minus. So, I will write here 2 star w 1 star w 1 transpose. So, this is what I am going to take and now. <coughs> so, this is the value we are going to take. So, I may be I will define this one divided by w 1 transpose multiply by w 1. So, this is what we have defined. So, that is my h 1. Now, I want to see that what will happen if I take h 1 and I will multiply this one with a new c 1. I will see this one. So, I can maybe I can define this as new c 1, new c 1 I will define. So, maybe I can define it just I just put this value here and then from there I will find my new a. So, new a or maybe I can write this as my a 1. So, a 1 I will get by multiplying h 1 with my matrix a. So, let us see that whether it is going to work till here or not. So, first I will save this value and then I will run this one. I will change the directory and let us see any mistake is there. So, okay. So, no mistake is there. First I have taken this matrix. So, this matrix is 4 1 minus 2 2 1 2 0 1 minus 2 0 3 2 3 minus 2 and 2 1 minus 2 1. So, that is okay. Now, I have taken from here I have taken this column. So, you can see the first column we have chosen. Now, n is 4 and if you see this one now if you see I have chosen the new c 1 and just I have written this value. So, it will not display the. So, now you can see from here I just again run this code no problem this one. Now, you can see that 4 was the maximum value I dividing by c 1 by 4. So, I get 1 here 1 by 4 is 0 0.25 minus this. So, I get this new c 1. So, this is a scaled one we have scaled scaled this uh, uh, vector and after this I get my w 1. So, w 1 we have taken that new c 1 plus. So, sign of this is positive. So, we have taken the positive sign the magnitude of this one we have taken and then e 1. So, we got this w 1 and after doing this w 1. So, w 1 if you see this is my 
I call it C1. So, and then I will convert this into the new C1. So, it is new C1 plus sign of this is positive. So, I am taking the new C1 norm and then E1. So, this is what we have done. And after that my H1 become this one. So, once I take this H1 and applying on the vector you see that this value becomes minus 1.25 and this value 0, 0 and 0. So, both are all the three value become 0 now and I apply this on the A1, A matrix. So, A1 is the new matrix with the first column a new vector and then here it is 0, 0, 0. So, this is what we got. So, my value of this A1 is this value. Okay. So, now let us see. So, up to here we are able to find out the, uh, the householder matrix and it is application transformation on the new C1. So, this is what we are able to finish. Now, let us do that one. Now, applying on the on the next column. So, in the next column what we are going to do is in this case after doing this one now I am going to choose the next column and this part we are going to choose then yeah, because we need to take now this element 0 0. So, we are going to use here 2 0 1. So, this is my next step. So, after getting this value now we have to take this vector 2 0 1 as a new vector. So, I am going to take here 2 0 1. So, let us take this one. Now, I take my C 2. So, again I am taking my C 2, but in this case I am taking my A. So, whatever the A we got this value and now I am taking it from 2 to n whatever the n. So, it is 2 to 4 and then this may be second sorry second one. So, that is my C 2. Now, everything will be again it will be same. Now, I will get this maybe I can copy this one. So, I will get control C and I will putting it here control V. So, it is my C 2. Okay. This is my C 2 and this is my new C 2. So, I have found from here this value taking the infinity norm means the maximum C 2 and then divided by this. So, I got this value next one. So, I need to find now W 1. So, I will also copy this control C and I will put it control. So, now this is my W 2 I am going to define. So, now it is C 2 sin of new C 2 the first one. So, it is in this case it is positive the norm of new C 2 2 norm we are defining and now we see that it is 3 cross 3 matrix. So, I have to take minus 1 1. So, this is my vector this one. So, this is my W 2 and now after this one we find the householder matrix control C put it here control V. Now, everything will change here. So, 2 now this matrix is 3 cross 3. So, I will take the identity matrix and now it is 2 2 2 
So, this is my H2 now and after this one I will put my H2 and I will define this on the new C2. So, let us see that what will happen in this case and after that I will define my so, A 1 is there now I will define A 2. So, A 2 will be now see what is going to happen is now. So, these things we have to keep in mind. Now, this is a 3 cross 3 cross 1. So, in this case now what I am going to do is from here I define my H 2. So, H 2 will be 3 cross 3, H 1 is 4 cross 4, but now it is a 3 vector 3 cross 1. So, H 2 is my 3 cross 3, I can just call it this one or no not so. So, I will just write here, I just call it this one. Now, I can choose my H 2 as 1 0 0 h 2. So, then now it is 4 cross 4 and what I am going to do is now I will take h 2 over a 1 and I am going to get a 2. So, it means what I am going to do is a h 1 h 2. So, this is what we are going to define. It means now I have to take my h 2 so, I just should write instead of H 2 I should write H 2 temp temporary. So, this is what we are going to take temp temporary. Now, now from here I will find my H 2. So, H 2 is there is a command for block so that is the block diagonal basically we are defining the block diagonal here. So, first one is the first entry is 1 and then I will define H 2 temp. So, this is what we are going to define. So, that is my H 2 now. So, let us try to find out. So, this is my if you see A 1 is whatever the a 1 was there. Now, c 2 is my 2 0 1 this one just wait it is I think we should take 1 because the new a 1 and then it is ok yeah let us see now. So, see from here first we started with this h 1. So, a 1 is this one now we are dealing with only this one this part because whatever the a1 are getting now we have to choose this one so c2 i have taken first this one then this value then this value and now from here i will uh, scale down so this become one this value and from here my w2 is becoming this value and then my householder matrix 3 by 3 will be this one. So, it is you can see it is symmetric matrix and then I applying on this vector. So, I get this vector here. So, uh, first component is non 0 other is 0 and from there my H 2 matrix become this one. So, that is my H 2 matrix. So, you can see that this is my the th 3 by 3 matrix this is H 2 temporary and one value this value. So, now from here it is ok. So, we are whatever the work we have done is right till here. Now, I will get my new matrix H 2. So, this is my I am applying my H 2 on A 1. So, this is what we got and I got my H 2. So, now after doing this one so, now you, you can see from here that if I want to make this matrix 
as a QR factorization. So now what I am going to do is that I will take next this part because I will make this one is 0 here and this become the upper triangular. Basically I want to convert this A into the upper triangular matrix. So again I have to applying this one more time. So I can write applying to the next column. this one. So everything will be same except changing this values here. So what I am doing now I will copy all this control C and put it here control V. So let us see what is going to find out here. Now my C2 I will take here C3 and this is coming from the A2 the new matrix. And now it is from not from 2 from 3 and this should be 3 so that is there. And after this <coughs> I will get the 3 here and this is my 3 here and this is new C3 after the normalization or the scaling down. Now I will get W3. So W3 is there, now I will take C3 sign of C3, norm of C3 and now it is 2 cross 2 matrix. So I will take here N minus 2, 1 and now from here I can start my householder matrix and this is n minus 2 and this I will take H3 temporary and this is H3 temporary and then I will take new C3. So this is I found from here. Now I find the last matrix A3. So for this one I need to find H3. So H3 now it will be again the block matrix. So I can write here BLK. So it is the block diagonal matrix. Now I have to define 1, 1 because in this case it will be only H3 temp is 2 cross 2. So I will write H3 and this matrix. So that is my block matrix and if I apply this H3 on my A2, so I should get the upper triangular matrix. So, so let us see this one. So now after getting this, so I this is my C3 we have found now because I need to find this value 0 here. So my new C3 is 1.5, so I divide by 1.5, I get this value. W3, I will got this value. And then using this W3, we have made the householder matrix that we call it H3 times, that will be 2 cross 2. And if I put this one, I will get this value here. So you can see that it is 1.1 value something, and this is a 0. E raised to power minus 60 means 0 value. And then my H3 becomes, so I put this matrix here and this is just the block diagonal matrix we got. And now we applying this on the A3. So you can see that this became my new matrix and that is upper triangular matrix. So after doing this one, I got my upper triangular matrix. So this is my upper triangular matrix and now if you see from here, I can find now the final upper triangular matrix. So I can write from here that R or I can write upper triangular matrix. So that is 
what it is? It is I can write directly here. So, if you see from here this is H 3 multiply H 2 multiply H 1 and applying on A. So, this is same as S 3 O 2. Now, what we want to do? We want to compare this one with the inbuilt function. So, inbuilt function is that. So, I can write that compare with the inbuilt q r function. q r function and what is that? So, that is we write it q r. So, this is what we get from here and I will write q r of matrix A and then we can check. So, this is let us see. <coughs> so, this is my upper triangular matrix you can check this is same at this value. So, uh, we have done this one in the steps and this is the value we got. Now, we have applied the q r factorization in build function. So, in the in build function if you see this is my from the household this is my q matrix orthogonal matrix whatever we got. Now, from here the r the r in this case is same if you see it is minus 0 0.5 0 0.5 minus 1.6 same value it is coming you can see from here. So, it means that we are able to find our uh, transformation. So, whatever the transformation we have defined and using this one. So, the upper triangle matrix is going to be same in all this case. So, we can say that that we are able to convert this into after this I am able to convert H 3, H 2, H 1 A into R. So, it is upper triangular matrix. Now, we are able to uh, do this one. So, now I want to define the another application just one extension of this one. Now, I can say application 2. Now, suppose, suppose my matrix A that is n cross n is a symmetric matrix. Then I can convert the matrix then matrix A can be converted into tri tridiagonal form. So, tridiagonal form means suppose I have the matrix A and that is symmetric. So, I will get the values only at the main diagonal, one diagonal below this, one diagonal above this and all other values. So, we can transform this matrix into the tridiagonal form. So, these things we can do here we can write that suppose I have the matrix A. I can apply my H 1 left side and the right hand side H 2, H 2, H 3, H 3 and suppose it is going up to H n. So, after doing this one whatever the value we get the matrix that is maybe I can write some R or I should write it T. So, this is tridiagonal. 
matrix. So, the same way we can define here. So, now if you see I have chosen this matrix A to be the symmetric matrix. Now, so the same way we can do maybe I can define it here. So, let us convert it to triangular form. So, nothing we have to do in this case only thing is that if you see from here in the triangular the first vector the same matrix is there 4 1 minus 2 2. So, in this case the first vector we have to choose this one because I need to keep this element here and then I have to make this and this 0. So, only one less step we need to do. So, in this case we can apply the same matrix. So, maybe I can write maybe another and I will call it let us call it try diagonal form. using household. So, I just write it and it save it on this one. So, what I am going to do is just I will going to copy this and now I will just copy this matrix. Let us go up to this control C and I will put it here control, control V. So, this it is ok. Now, first column if you see now the first column I have to choose here from 2 to n. So, this is what we need to do. Maybe I need to find this value here. So, I will take and I will put control x here, control v and I will find out here maybe I will shoot the length of a <coughs> and I should first call. So, this is what I, want, I can do no problem. Now, C 1 I will choose from 2 to n 1 after that new C 1 is ok the same way will go W 1 is also same. Now, I will go by this way <coughs> if you see from here. So, this will be n minus 1. because now I am taking 3 by 3 and finding my h 1. So, h 1 is ok. Now, it should be n minus 1 So, I will take this as h 1. So, I will call it this as temp temporary and then you will see this one h 1 temporary and new c 1. So, that is my and now from here my h 1 will be block matrix and then I am finding 1 here and h 1 temp. So, this is what we are able to do. So, let us see this one. 
So, now you see from here uh, a this one I am taking 1 minus 2 1 dividing by the 2. So, this is the value and w 1 I got this value. So, my h 1 temporary in this householder is this matrix and applying on this one. So, I am getting 1 minus 1.5 and 0 0 and this my h 1 should be 4 cross 4. So, it is this value. So, that is ok. So, we are able to find this matrix and now you can also check that h 1 star a will be this one. So, now we are getting value 4 here minus 3 and then 0 0. In the next case we have to make this value 0 only. Okay, so, now let us see what is going to happen if I take h 1 star a star h 1. You see here this is also becoming 0 and this is also becoming 0. So, now next step is only one step is remaining. So, this is ok. Now, from here my a 1 is I can write my h 1 star a star h 1. So, this is what we got a 1. Now, I need to find my next part. So, this is the next things we can do again the same way. So, maybe I should go up to here and control C, put it, it here, control V, maybe I can define here next column. And then now I can define my, so this is just I will take 3 and this is my C 2. Now, I define my new C 2. So, everything is again same C 2 and norm of C 2. Now, I can find my W 2. So, W 2 is new C 2 and then sign of new C 2. the norm of C 2 and this will be 2 because it in the matrix will be 2 cross 2 and then I will find this value. So, it is my 2, 2, 2, 2 and this matrix will be also 2 cross 2. So, this is what I got this one and if I apply on this one I will get my vector this. So, just it is to check here and once I get this matrix now I can find my H 2. So, H 2 will be again the block matrix. So, B L K and this is 1 1 and H sorry I should write it here h 2 and this is h 2 and this is my h 2 this value. So, this is my h 2 now and now from here I can find my triangular matrix T. So, T is my triangular matrix. So, that will be H 2 star A 1 star H 2. So, we will see that this is going to be our triangular matrix. So, let us run this one and now you can see that my. So, after that A 1 now I take C 2. So, C 2 is basically we need to take from no, no we have to C 2 should be from A 1 that we have to keep in mind. Let us run again. So, my C 2 I am taking minus this one. one second. <coughs> 2. 
let us see again because I need to take this how now it is okay it is 1 and 1 1.33 we have to take this one C2 dividing by 1.33 so it becomes 0 0.7 and 1 W2 is now 2 and 1 and my householder transformation is matrix will be this and if you put this one you see that here we got the value 0 and now my H2 will be this value and putting this my household transformation here and put my H2 here and now if you see from here my triangular matrix is now it is 0 here, 0 here, 0 here, 0 here, next is 0 here and this is 0 here and the remaining will be the triangular matrix. So, you can check that this is a triangular matrix now and we are able to solve this one with the help of householder transformation to convert a given symmetric matrix into the triangular form. So, by this way in the computer programs you know that it is quite easy once we write the program then we can just change the matrices and the same program can be run for various type of matrices. So, that is the benefit of writing the code to do the numerics. So, I think now this is we should stop here and now with the help of this code you can run you can write your own codes and then you can verify or you can try these things for different different type of matrices. So, let me stop. So, in the lecture we have discussed the application of the householder transformation first we have shown the QR factorization and then we have uh, another application we have shown that if the matrix is a symmetric matrix then we can convert this one into the triagonal form using the householder transformation and we have taken the help of octave to do all this computation. So, I hope that you have enjoyed this course the complete course on matrix computation and I also uh, hope that you enjoyed and learned lot of things from here that will be useful for your further studies. So, thanks for taking this uh, course and completing this course. Uh, so, thanks for taking this course. Thanks very much. Mm -hmm.